brain of a bad bitch. BBB. So you don't go closer. Right here? I think you should go a little closer. Try it. I'm literally as close as I'm closer than you are. Test, test, test. Test, 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 test. Test, test, ha ha ha. Test, test brain of a bad bitch, ha test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, ha ha ha. Test, brain of a bad bitch, ha test, test. How come I still sound like you don't project when you talk? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'll go farther though. I think no. it's just my voice, just it just picks it up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Brain on a bad bitch. BBB. already know are the hosts of brain of a bad bitch hi bad bitches hi smart asses how are you guys doing how are you guys quarantining i hope you guys yeah. are washing your hands i hope yeah. you guys are stocking up on toilet paper and food <laughs> i hope everyone's not gonna have sagittarius and scorpio pain <laughs> oh that too so we taught you guys how to catch a cheater and i hope you guys enjoyed it yeah i hope you guys caught that man yeah we caught that bitch Bro. Next, we're gonna teach you how to get over, over him. him. Now that you've caught him cheating, okay, maybe he didn't even cheat. Maybe you're just over it. Maybe yeah. Maybe you just broke up with him. Maybe you just it. broke up. Maybe you listened to episode number one and you broke up yeah. with him. And now you need to know how to get over girls him. Girls actually broke up with their man after yeah, episode a lot of, one. A lot of we had did. DMs saying thank you so much. That was inspiration I needed to break up with my man. And they did. Crazy. Wow. We're out here ruining yeah, relationships. Ruining relationships. But bridges. Ruining and relationships. Not anything we're not used to. But <laughs> building people. Yeah. <laughs> building we, confidence we and strength We ruined a relationship, power. but we helped a person. Yeah, exactly. Because they had to get out of it. <laughs> okay. But anyways, yeah. So how to get the fuck over him. Because, sis, you don't need him anymore. No. Smart Bye. ass, you don't need her anymore. No. We're getting over them and we're getting under yeah. someone new. Nice. So we're going to teach you the wrong way and the right way of how to get over somebody because you actually have to go through the wrong way before you get to, to the, the right, right way. way. Yeah, you have to get everything out, guys. You have out. to get everything out of your system before. Because here's the thing. You could go straight into the right way, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> True. <laughs> So this is how to get over a guy who's constantly and consistently hurting you. Time to cut it off. Bye. bye first bye, things bye, first, bye. start to go out with your friends. First things first, yeah. Yeah, start. Go get that makeup. Go get that hot ass outfit that you've wanted to get that he told you that you couldn't wear. And you know what your caption's going to be? Thank you, next. Or you know it's going to be, um, it's going to be out to live, be back, back never. never. It's yeah. gonna be your caption for your next photo after you get you break up. That you after you break up is gonna be out to live, be back never. And when you post that, tag us, tag us, tag us, tag us, tag us. comment. Yeah. yeah, and repost you. But guys, go out with your friends. Like this is you're probably in your twenties if you're listening to this. This is your time to be going out, to be having fun. This is not a time to be wiped up to some lame boy who hurts you. No, this is not the time. Never be a wife in a, what is the quote? Never be a wife to a guy in his mom's house. What? <laughs> Never. <laughs> yes, you quote. did. Because you were that. Remember, I sent it to you. What? Don't be a wife. Don't be wifey to a guy in his mom's house. Don't be white. Don't be doing wifey shit if, he, if he's living with his mom. You're in the house. 
<laughs> no, I swear. I literally can't with Raven, guys. Like, this is literally our everyday to day life. <laughs> Don't be wifey to a guy in his mama's house. That was it. Oh. Don't be wifey to a guy in his mama's house? Yeah, don't be folding his laundry and his mom is next door. Yeah, you're right, I guess. <laughs> what is, yeah, yeah, don't, just, I guess. This is it. not the time. You're too young. You're in your 20s. Right now, are your, they told you glory days are in high school? No, no. Sis, your glory days are right freaking now. Go out and have fun. Go out. Go with your girlfriends. Have, like, even if it's not to yeah. the club, have wine night. Yeah, like, it's Go the dress shittiest. up. Go to dinner. Like, Go do something with your girl. It's the shittiest feeling when you're on Snapchat and you're seeing whatever Instagram stories. You're seeing all these girls having fun and you're just laying next to your man who Bro treats me. you like shit. Bro me. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I used to be so upset. I used yeah. to be so upset at you. But it was my fault. Yeah, it was I your see own Rave, fault. I'd see Rave at the club with her new best friends. Telling everyone, oh, who's my best friend? And I'd be at with my ex in bed. Fat. Did fat. you say fat? Yeah, I <laughs> said fat. Fat. <laughs> Girls, you are going to go with friends that you trust, first of all. Trust. You're going to go with good girlfriends, okay? You're not going to go with just any random ass hoes that are, like, trying to hit you up to go out and whatever, okay? Be cautious with who you're going out with. Because yeah. you want to make sure that they're going to take care of you yeah. if you're going to get fucked up. Because especially if you just got out of a relationship, you're going to be you're gonna, fucked up. No, I'm telling you right now, you're going to black the fuck out for BBB. You're going <laughs> to... The last for your first time, not every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for your first time out because it's been a long time. You know, it's maybe your alcohol tolerance is low or some shit, but you're gonna take those tequila shots and you're gonna have guys buying you drinks. We're gonna get you buying you drinks. So you're gonna look good in that dress. Don't wear a dress to the club. Please wear a hoodie. Oh my. Raven. <laughs> She's trying to get guys to buy her drinks. I get guys to wear drinks in a hoodie. Okay, Raven, well, that's you. All right, fuck. <laughs> And we just told her to go get that outfit that... Oh, yeah, yeah. Wear whatever you want to wear. Wear whatever the fuck you feel good in, okay? But take all those shots, sis. But go out and have fun for all the times you were stuck in his house while he was out. Mm -hmm. And you stayed in. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to just one place. You're going to hit up every single fucking place every that you place. possibly can in that one night. Make an itinerary. Itinerary. You're going to pregame. My chai's house district. <laughs> you're going to pregame. No, it's... It's a district class. District is last, yeah. Everyone says house is last. Really? Yeah. Oh, because house is until 4 a.m. now. Okay, so it's going to be pre-game. You're going to go to dinner. You're going to pre-game. Then you're going to go to Mai Tais. Then you're going to go to district. Then you're going to go to house. But before that, you may even have gone to addictions before, too. Get a hotel room, actually, too. Fuck, fuck, go. Spend all your money. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You start at lobby. Oh, not anymore. It's shitty now. Addiction. Start really? Start addictions. Start at addictions. Yeah. You go to dinner, so you're gonna go to dinner in Waikiki. You're gonna go to addictions. No, so you're gonna go Bujos. You're gonna get that skinny margarita, sis. The skinny okay. mini, it's called a skinny yeah, mini. Yeah, you're gonna get the skinny mini. You're gonna get that tequila flight. Then you're gonna go to addictions. And then you're gonna go to Mai Tais, maybe, perhaps. You can skip Mai Tais if you want to. Well, oh, it's also called the Makai Who knows who it's gonna, how it's gonna be now? Yeah. The new Mai Tais. Yeah, we don't know. So then you're gonna go to district. Then, oh, you're going to go V Lounge, then District. Don't go to V Lounge. Just don't. No, because V Why? Howie, no. There's some guys in there that you don't see in District. Yeah, there's a reason for that. <laughs> there's local guys in there. The local yeah, the ones that don't want to pay the cover to get in. <laughs> <laughs> or they're not wearing a collar shirt, you bitch. Whatever. Anyways. V Lounge is like last, last, last. Last resort. If there's nowhere, nothing nowhere, go to V Lounge. I walk through, I go to v Lounge first to check out who's in there, like, see if there's anyone I know. Yeah, you can do a little peek. Yeah, you can do a little peek, and then you go out, then you go to District. <sighs> this is pretty toxic. Okay. And we're not saying to do it. Are we getting straight into this? <laughs> it's number two. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you gotta do this all in the same night, fuck. Ooh. So you can be blacked out, that way you don't feel so bad about it. Hook up with his friend. Been there, done that shit. That's like my fucking <laughs> M.O. shit. <laughs> it's really toxic and... It's horrible. Oh, I put... Horrible. Only do it if he cheated on you. Only do it if you're... If he did something really wrong. But you know what? Fuck it. Shit. Shit happens. It's a small island. Fuck. But definitely if he cheated on you, go fuck his best friend for sure. <laughs> Nicki Minaj said... Um, oh, 
But make sure the best friend, like, you have to be sure. Okay, okay, this is a thing about if you're gonna fuck with his friend, okay? Yeah. Here's the thing. You need to make sure that you are completely, 100% done with this guy. You have to make sure because... Well, for Raven's case, you... you I never you, did this. Yeah, but you're... <laughs> <laughs> Be sure that you're like completely over this guy because when he finds out you, the best friend is a oh they're not gonna weekly. talk to you for months yeah the the best friend's a weekly and you're, you're this, your ex gonna find out but that's why you need to be over it like if he finds out he's gonna hate your guts yeah hate he's gonna your freaking hate you. guts hate your and you're gonna guts. ruin their friendship too so it's up to you that's sure, what I'm saying I, they're fucking real tight shit. that's what I'm saying is you don't have we're not telling you to do this don't don't, don't do only if you really feel the need to do this. In my situation, well, in my situation, I'm glad I did. Come to find out, he's fucking dating a whole ass other bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I did it. <laughs> but fucking their friend, like, it just gives you this power that, like, it just helps you sleep better at night. <laughs> it just helps you sleep better at night. You're the absolute worst. Just knowing, like, Okay, you did that. Well, <laughs> well, guess what, baby? Well, guess what? Guess Little did you know. I did. Him? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but, like, it just gives you a power, like, okay. Yeah. Have your slut stage, and this doesn't mean going fuck, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Being <laughs> Have your whole just, stage. Just have fun. Talk to many guys. Have fun. Like, like just yeah, you don't, have to, you don't have to have sex with every single one of them, but go Me ahead. <laughs> What did you say? Be loose. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I just mean like DM some guys. Not into some guys. DM. Yeah, just have go, fun. Just yeah. like be friends. When you go to like, the bar, like go like mingle with some guys. You know what I'm saying? But just don't hold yourself back. Just let yourself have oh, fun. Hold yourself back in some cases. You don't want to fuck all kind of people. That's no, right. I just mean have fun. Yeah, have just fun. Just have fun. Do you, sis? Just Streets let everything out of away. your system that you've been holding in. Just like get everything out of your system. Damn, how are these bitches going to do this during coronavirus? Oh, yeah, that's really bad. Okay, guys, so I guess you're going to have to do this all over social media. Yeah. FaceTime and shit. Just FaceTime all kind, guys. <laughs> and I guess you can do quarantine and chill, but you want to be sure that you know where he's, like, coming from. Mm -hmm. So I guess you guys have to wait till the pandemic's over to use these tips. <laughs> Next, listen to zero sad music. Zero. Zero. Sad music can get me in my freaking feels we ain't doing drake sis we ain't doing no drake you're gonna listen to Nicki minaj you're gonna listen to summer walker Nicki minaj what the fuck is up with you and Nicki minaj I what was up with you and Nicki minaj nothing i don't listen to Nicki you're minaj listen to Nicki minaj on spotify <laughs> <laughs> i love Nicki minaj you're gonna listen to Nicki we minaj don't like her anymore yes we do we do her as a person they think her as a person. People like Nicki Minaj, Summer Walker, Cardi B, some Janae Aiko, some no Janae Aiko. Janae Aiko though is okay. No, just hip, just hip hop music in general, like booty shaking music, booty music, like. No, you want to listen to? You want to listen to Big Sean? Um, I don't fuck with you. Blast that. Yeah, that is Blast literally that. the number one song. That took me so much times. Yeah, remember we're in the car together. We listened listen to, to I'm a Dog Too by Tony. I'm Rimoli. a Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. That's in SoundCloud. And Spotify, yeah. I'm a dog too. A I dog promise too. you that if song. If he a dog, me. I'm a dog too. Listen to this when you're if in your he savage a dog, times. I'm a dog too. Next. I'm savage. Do not contact him. No. Nope. No. Not even a drunk text. Not even. Do a drunk not drunk call. text him. That will be the worst possible thing you could possibly do, ladies. Do not do it. Don't. Actually, block him. Block his ass. Let. If you don't block him and he's constantly texting you, texting you, let, let that message thread get longer and longer. Print it and frame it on your wall. <laughs> Do not reply. This is so, your time. He hurt you. This is your time. Your time to shine, baby. If you start talking to him, you're going to ruin everything. Everything. Keep the energy on you. No, don't literally, share your energy with him. He, he can try and text you he can try and call you he can try and dm you he can make a new account and then do the dms he can email you bitch don't yeah. give a fuck and laugh you know he's just laugh. trying to manipulate you yeah laugh. Ha, ha, ha. that's what me and raven do we laugh at everything everything you have is life falls apart ha, ha, ha. laugh every pathetic text that he sends laugh at it yeah he's lying just know he's lying you should literally just like make a 
make a wallpaper, make a wallpaper that says don't reply or change his name to don't reply or like stupid Oh, asshole. I've done that. Don't reply yeah. or fucking asshole or I changed my name. Reply. Remember we, we changed our contact names to stupid fuckhead or bitch ass boy or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, lying asshole. Like, yeah. <laughs> we changed we changed their names. We get really deep. Yeah. yeah, even just because he's emailing you guys doesn't mean that he's... He loves you or he's Yeah, sorry. it doesn't mean anything more. It means he's pathetic. It mean, yeah, it means that he's desperate and pathetic and that he knows what he lost. Let him sweat. Let, Let him sweat. Him. Let him. Let him fucking... Sweat. Let him fucking melt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're definitely... Okay. Girls, we don't block on Instagram. We don't oh, block that man good, on Instagram, good. okay? You let him continue to follow you. If he blocks you, all right, cool. We don't block him, okay? Because you're going to post Unfollow him, though. Oh, yeah, unfollow him for sure. And mute him so that you don't see anything. Yeah, 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 for sure. Thank you. Because you want him to see the pics. You want to keep him on, on all the social media platforms, honestly. But you just don't want to interact with him. Maybe you can, don't you can watch unfollow a thing him. of his. You can unfollow him, though, on everything. But you want to keep him... He, you want to keep him on your shit. You don't want to be on his shit. Mm -mm. You want him to see. He's probably gonna unfollow you though. Probably, probably, but some of them don't. And make sure that their friends are fucking following you too. Yeah. You search. You want to know how? Start following more of his friends. You follow more of his friends. Yep. But, yep. but mute yep. them and don't watch their shit. Yeah. Uh -uh. No, because what if they pop up? You're gonna be sad. Just yeah, mute them so that it says, says that you're following them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, let you want him to see those pics. Because you, you know, want him to see you going out. You want him to, you want him to fucking melt. Because you know, if a lot of times, if I know like a guy follows Cowie, um, I'll make her post me so that he'll see it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's have why. You, so have your girlfriends post. If he follows your girlfriend still, have your girlfriends post, post you, you for sure. Yep. For sure, for sure. What's another one? Oh, keep his family. Keep his family on top of your on top of your social media. Keep them. Because they're going to talk about you. Yeah, for sure. But make yeah. sure it's good stuff because yeah, good I've stuff. done it where it backfired many times. VVV. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you want to keep their their family, their mom especially. You want to keep their mom on your stuff. That way. Their mom still can, loves you. Yeah. Well, maybe sometimes. But that way they're constantly updating him about what you're doing too. And when oh, they hear it from the mom. Oh, so sweet. Did you see what Kyle was doing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, how's, how are you and Kali? How have you guys talked recently? Yeah. Oh, she's doing this now. Yeah, fuck my ex kept my parents on top of his shit. They were always like, oh, that is doing really good. I'm like, fuck, bitch. Like, I don't want to hear about him anymore. So yeah, keep the parents. Keep the parents. Yeah. yeah. Unless they end up blocking you too. It's fine though. It's fine. Yeah. Just blow up on social media. That's not a wrong thing. Um, blow up. Start gaining those followers. Start gaining those likes. He's gonna be mad. The wrong way. Get a boob job. <laughs> Get a fucking Me. boob job. Get a boob job. That's the wrong way. Shit. Like, right now is the time that you can figure out who you truly are. Because so many times in relationships, we define ourselves by our partner. Mm -hmm. Because we've lost our identity. But really, when you break up, that's the time that you need to gain your self-identity back. Because you no longer have someone to depend on. It's just you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this time... After all your fun and all that shit, like, now you're just going to sit down and you're going to let shit out. Like, think about what went wrong and how you can do things better in your next relationship and, like, just your future. Just for your future self. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So, that brings us into the right way to actually get over a guy. You can go straight into this, too, but we recommend you start with the bad ways. Because <laughs> the bad ways means you're distracted. Mm -hmm, distraction. You haven't got over it. Mm -hmm. You're still sad. Mm -hmm. But you're just doing a bunch of things so you don't have to think about it. And I think it is healthy for you to go through that. It is. Because for a while, you need to just not think about and it. And we're not promoting, like, alcohol to, like, suppress your no. feelings. That's not what we're saying. We're, we're just, just saying have fun. And even if you don't, if you're not a drinker, go travel. Go and, like, just go out with your friends. You don't even have to drink with them. Like, just go and do fun shit, you know? Yeah. Go to the beach. Go take those hot bikini pics, sis. Like, you don't even have, you don't even have to drink. Yeah. Just have fun. Do what take you want Take the doing. hot bikini pics, ladies. Take the hot. And make sure that bikini is small as fuck. <laughs> you want that shit, like, a G-string up your ass, like a dental floss, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So now that you've
realize that you're distracted and you're not healed. This, yeah, that you're not, girls, you are not going to heal from going out. No, Trust me. you're not. The difference between distracted and healed. The difference between distracted and healed is your distractions are um, temporary pleasure. Yeah. It's going to be good in that moment, but when you go home and the party's over and you're, you're sad. sad as fuck, that means you're not healed. Yeah. Healed is when nothing can bother you about that guy anymore. Mm -hmm. You can hear anything, you can see anything, and you can you're see fine. his name, you can see his face, you can see him in person, you can and hear feel his no voice way. and feel nothing. That's when you know that you have totally moved on from that person. You see them with another person, another girl, and you're fine, you've moved on. And ladies, there's no timeline, like Yeah, there's none. And sometimes you can be healed and then not healed. Fine. And there's moments you're gonna miss yeah. The feelings that you've had in the past with them. It doesn't necessarily mean that you miss them. And, oh, maybe this feeling is giving me a sign that I should reach out. No, that's not what that is. It's just that sometimes we miss certain feelings that we've had and share and like certain memories that we share with people. And that's yeah. fine. But that does not mean that you want to go out and reach out again. You know what I'm saying? Because usually when, when you go back to an ex, the same shit happens. happens. The same, the same shit. shit. It's a cycle. History repeats itself in everything. In relationships, in the world, like in everything. You just don't want to deal with that shit. And you can even get healed and then see them with somebody else and it may still hurt. Yeah. It may still hurt. And that's There's really fine. no rules to healing. And, yeah. and you don't have to feel bad if you are hurting and seeing something. Like, you don't have to feel bad about it. Like, yeah. you still can heal and continue to heal and move on if you see something and it really hurts you and you thought you were healed just isolate yourself and start journaling writing yeah. your feelings down that's one way you can do it or you can pray that's another way or go go to your girlfriends not to go out but go to your girlfriends have a cup of coffee go to lunch you know just occupy you want to keep yourself occupied you know what i mean but by all do not Talk do not to them. start. Do not talk to them. Do not reach out to them. Do not re reach out to that other person, and do not tweet about it. Oh, don't tweet about don't it. Don't tweet about it. Okay. Something that I learned too is when you think about things that you don't want to think about, a lot of times I would just try to be like, "Oh, just don't think about it. Just don't think about it." But that feeling would always just keep coming back. Mm -hmm. So it's healthy to let yourself feel it. Yeah, like it sometimes is. you just have to sit with that feeling, mm -hmm. process it, breathe, and just. For sure. Move on and let go. For sure, yeah. You have to feel those things. Because if you're you not letting yourself to. feel it, it's just going to build up and build up and build up. Yeah. And I was telling Rave that, like, one of these quotes that I've been living by is that focus on the things that you can control and release the things that you can't control. Because when you release the things, so you can't control that he's talking to other people or that he suddenly <sighs> yeah. pops up. You can't control it. So don't worry about it, you know? Just however you feel, let it come, like Rave said, and move on. You just move on. Think about it, process it, yeah. feel what it. What you can and change, you can't change him, but what you can change is your mindset and the environment that you're in. And Take how you react. It. Yeah, and how you react. That's good. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that a lot of girls um, talk to someone. Talk to someone. Don't completely isolate. It's good for isolation and solitude every once in a while. But you, you need to talk to someone. You can't get through it by yourself. Whether it's like your girlfriend. For me, I have rape. Or it's your mom. Yeah. Or it's even an uncle or an auntie or a brother or a sister or a therapist. Go to the... Do not be ashamed to see a therapist if you truly need that yeah. help and that like stepping stone to get out of this rut. Then go, go to see a therapist. It's fine. I see a therapist. I want to see a therapist so bad. I've been I love to my see therapist. One. It's great. Read a book. Read a book about like self worth. Yeah. Watch YouTube's. Watch. Listen to podcasts about self worth and self love and confidence and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like it's great. Um, and it's gonna totally help you. Um, Raven taught me to start journaling things I'm grateful for. So when you start thinking about positive things like what you're grateful for, then you're not thinking about the negative things aren't flooding your thoughts you know what i mean it's not gonna affect you as much um there's a book that i read when i needed to get over somebody it was called getting past your breakup and that helped me a lot mm -hmm. there's a lot of really good books so there's that one and then there's a really good book for healing called how to heal your life it's a really 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 good book Ooh, good 
Good. Go look up those books, guys. Yeah. You, if you don't like reading books, then there, you can probably find an audio book, too. Yeah. And if you're, like, religious, go to church. Like, going to Pray. church and, yeah, and praying is, like, awesome. Read your Bible. Like, it's cool. Do it. Whatever you Whatever into. you believe in, like, try. During this time, you want to get more in touch with your emotions, your spirituality, and your physical self. Go work out. Oh, work Go out. Go work out. Working out helps me feel so much better. Working and you know, a lot of times you. when I work out, I pretend that, not pretend, <laughs> but I'm like, <laughs> This is my playing at the gym, bro. <laughs> yes, I do. This might sound stupid, but I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna work out as if they're right here, like what? Not watching me, but they're like they're in this workout class too, or you know, oh, they go even harder. I go harder. I'm yeah, like, yeah. So this is another. This is something that I learned. Go running on the. If you have like no motivation to like push yourself, run on your sidewalk. Like go running in your streets, because then when cars are passing by you and yeah, people are faster. passing by you, you you don't give up. You know, you don't want to look like a lame. Yeah. But um, yeah, work out. Working out is good. It releases endorphins that like bring you it happiness makes you and stuff yeah. like that. And a lot of people get depressed because they don't exercise enough. So make sure you actually go on a hike, something. Yeah. And also guys, there's a lot of really good YouTube videos. If you just type in any topic that you need help on, like YouTube. Literally. How to get over a breakup. <laughs> how do I do this? How do I do this? I looked there's up. There's so um, much. At one point in my life, I was looking up like, um, how to find my self worth? How do oh, I yeah. love myself? Like you can literally just look up your questions in YouTube, and videos will pop up for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, something that I do too is I would get like an app that was like a like a countdown or a count up app, and I'd be like, how long I I've been strong enough to not. Oh yeah, talk you do that. Them. Yeah, Rafe does does this all I the time. I do weird stuff, guys. Yeah, she does like really weird stuff. <laughs> like how long has she not drank and yeah. all that kind of stuff. By yeah. the way, I haven't been drunk in over a month. But yeah, you can do little things like that so that you're aware of how long it's been since you haven't talked to them. And it makes you feel, makes it makes you feel, feel good, good. Yeah. yeah. To see your progress. Yeah. It's always good to see your progress. Yeah, just do the things that you love to do, guys. Go find yourself. Um, don't define yourself by others' opinions or thoughts. Don't worry about how other people may come at you. He may come at you. Other girls might come at you. His friends might come at you. Just don't let it get you down. You keep going and just... Do you and honestly take do a you. social media break? Yes, social media breaks are so good. They're guys. so healthy. Even if it's just for a few days, but a week is honestly so refreshing. I've done it for three months. After my breakup, I did three months. Yeah, delete the apps, all of it, just yeah. for a little while, just to clear your head. Oh, so you're delete not all the pics of him. Yeah. For me though, I still do have pics because. I just did not give a shit so much that I didn't even feel like I had to go through all of it. It's just whenever I, whenever I see a pic pop up, I'll delete it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, I, but you want to delete as much memory as possible if it really bothers you that much. You want to delete For that. me, I just have like a file somewhere locked away. Of all your pics? Yeah. Yeah. Just so it's not gone forever. <laughs> Don't listen to her on that part. Okay, go. <laughs> Buy a puppy. <laughs> Buy a damn puppy. What to me? Wait, you bought a <laughs> Raven bought a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> tell them, tell them, tell them. It's funny. No. Why? I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> just, or we're just saying Raven bought a puppy. Okay? Buy a puppy. She a, where is that puppy? Bro, oh my god. And if you guys share something. Oh, we should talk about what if they like share something. Like a, like they a lady together. or a... Or a yeah. Yeah, they live together or we have a dog. Okay guys, so me and my ex had a dog together and this made things like really rough and like harder to get over them. So I don't know, maybe you have a baby or maybe you guys have like a marriage. I don't fucking know, like a contract <laughs> or a bank account. Anyways, it made it really hard for me to get over them because or get over him because we had, we shared something together. You know what I mean? And we both loved her. So we wanted to both have her still. Um... Don't do that. <laughs> if you have a dog, one of you just make the fucking decision to take the fucking dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally. Don't do the back and forth. Yeah, don't do the back and forth thing. You're going to stress out the dog, and you're going to stress each other out, and you're going to constantly see each other. It's just not good. At least, wanna... at least for the beginning, one person just take them. Until you guys are at a place where it's healthy to go and visit and stuff like that. No, don't. Don't Ever, so you never see the dog again. It's either you need to give up the dog or you take the dog. Somebody has to take it. Literally, if I still went to go see my dog with my ex, like I'd hate my life. I would. I don't want to see his 
freaking face you know what i mean like yeah. you don't want that and you don't want the parents to get in between either so you just just someone take the freaking cat or dog or whatever kids for me my parents split up so it was probably harder for them to get over each other too i don't know if uh, i don't even talk about it. but anyways handle things as as a what is it as mature as possible don't put your kid into it it's not your kid's fault just make it about you guys but you can't yeah just we're gonna leave it at that <laughs> <laughs> just don't blame the fucking kid okay guys don't put the kid in the middle because that shit hurts as it sucks but yeah and yeah yeah that's it okay what are we talking about i don't know <laughs> just don't go and see him don't don't do it just know that every time you go and see them or every time you text them you're just literally starting from the beginning and if he hits you up for a booty call fuck him yeah. I mean, not, not actually go and fuck him, but like, <laughs> like, fuck him. Like, no, don't go and do it. Yeah. He's a, what a lame, what an asshole for doing that to you. No think respect. about that. Constantly think all the negative things and cons about him. That's, yeah. that's what I did. I wrote down oh, all the cons. Oh, me too. I made a list of everything that... I actually did the pros and cons. Just and make a list of everything that they've ever put you through. And every time they hit you up, read that list. Be like, oh no, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. did that to me. You did that to me. I'm, Honestly, I'm make a pros you. and a cons list. You'll probably see that the cons level out to so much more than the pros. Yeah, every time. Yeah, literally. Literally. A lot of times, you're going to want to change the outcome of what's happening. Or just be like, oh, maybe I can try and change him and we can get back together. It's not going to work. Yeah, like I said, guys. Focus on what you can, can control, control and not on what you can't. You can't change a person. You can't make someone do or act or say the things that you want to yeah. say. You just absolutely can't. Yeah. And you can't. something that was really hard for me that I had to learn was not everyone has the same heart as you do. Because mm, a lot of times I'm like, how the frick can you do this to me? Like, I would never be able to do that or to like, you. Like, why can't you love me the way that I love you? Yeah. And once I realized, like, okay, not everyone was raised like me. Not mm. everyone thinks the way I do, mm -hmm. not everyone, whatever, then I'm like, okay, now I kind of get it. Like, yeah. It makes, it settles things easier for yeah. you. Like it makes things, yeah. It makes it a lot easier to understand why yeah. things don't work out the way that you want it, you know? Yeah. And next thing guys, of how to get over them is just have respect for yourself. Have mm -hmm. enough respect for yourself yeah. to know that you should not be talking to them. Yeah. Because you respect yourself enough to not. Like I said, remind yourself of all the things bad that they did to you. Yeah. And that will remind you about how much more you're worth and how much more you deserve. And it's so cliche to say you deserve more, but you, we absolutely do. We absolutely deserve more than a guy lying to us or a guy cheating on us or a girl doing the same shit, you know, etc. It's we deserve more. Yeah. There's somebody out there that's going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. But you can't expect someone to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated, quotations, unless you know how you want to be treated and unless you know how to treat yourself. Yeah, you, it how you treat you. yourself and what you allow is what they're gonna continue to yeah. do. It's how you set the tone. Mm -hmm, you set the tone, you set the motherfucking tone. How you portray yourself, how you see yourself is how others will perceive you. Yeah, so, 100%. Yeah. So you just have to be able to love yourself. And it's hard to figure out how to love yourself, but it's really not that hard at the same time, you know? It's it's, it's important because I was actually like going through this like this year, like when did I stop loving myself? Mm -hmm. It's important to find out when you stopped loving yourself and going back to that time and trying to heal that area. Yeah, figure out why. So something I did is I listened to a lot of music that I used to listen to before I stopped loving myself. I don't know why, but that helped me. Just oh, like, that's interesting. Just like getting back into that time. Cause me songs bring back like memories yeah, they and do. feelings. Mm -hmm. So I was listening to music that like I was listening to when I was super happy and when I never was hurt before and blah, 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 blah. So just a little Oh, that's tip. interesting. Wow, that's yeah. good, Rave. I'm gonna use that. If you continue to talk to somebody and go back to somebody who's consistently hurting you, then you're just as sick as them. Mm -hmm. As harsh as that sounds, you are. You're just you as sick as them. You need just as much help as they do. Yeah. Because you guys are feeding off of each other's tox toxicity at that point. Yeah. You guys are like, it's the cycle. Like I said, it's a cycle. It's going back and forth, back and forth. And you guys are just, it's not good. 
No. You need to clear your headspace, and that's when you should go and really talk to someone. Yeah. Like, have someone... You should find someone that you trust that can be accountable for you. Like, Rave is, like, my accountable partner. Yeah. <laughs> if I need to not do something, I tell Rave, I can't do this. And she goes, okay. And she makes sure I don't I don't, I don't yeah. do it. It's always my choice. It's always my choice. But having someone say, Kawi, you said you're going to do this. Raven, I told you, you said you told me that you weren't going to talk to them no more. Mm -hmm. You know? So when you hear that coming from someone you trust and you truly love and, like, appreciate, then you feel like, okay, shit. If I do this, I'm going to let them down kind of thing. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. So then it helps you more to not do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just know, guys, getting over somebody, it could take years. It could take days. It could take months. It's There's no timeline. It could take within the relationship. <laughs> yeah. You could be over them without <laughs> yeah, that's you me. broke up yet. <laughs> but just don't feel like you need to rush it. Yeah. Maybe they seem like they are over you. They're not. Yeah. Well, they're, they're not. not. Yeah, don't worry. For they sure. Ain't. But, I mean, <sighs> That shit's always rough. We know, guys. We know. It sucks. It absolutely sucks. But it's not impossible. It is not impossible. There is not an end until it's the end. So, yeah. And there really is no end. You're just turning the page and you're mm -hmm. going forward with your life. Yep. So the last final step is Flip to move that forward. page, baby. Flip that, that. Page, baby. Flip that page. Hey. Now flip that page. New chapter. That. New chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep moving forward, guys, because literally that's all you can do. If you're stuck in the same place, you keep talking to them, you keep being sad about this, you keep listening Nothing's to sad gonna music. Change. Nothing's going to change until you guys change what you're Your doing. Your life will not go up if you're staying stagnant. Yeah. You're, you, will not, you will not see your fruits, um, your fruition, if you stay stagnant. You need to do something different. You reap, you reap what you sow. And that is like 100% true. Get your career in check. Do this. Do that. Because yeah. guess what? You're gonna, they're going to see you doing good and they're going to be like, damn. And they're going to regret it. They're going to regret it. And that and can be your goal, but don't let that be your only Yeah, that's goal. not your goal. That's not your main goal. Yeah, your main goal is for you. Yeah. For you. And if you have kids, then your kid, you and your kids. You know what I mean? Or you and your family. Yeah. Not not him. Just move forward. The best revenge <clears throat> is success. Ooh. Success is the best best revenge mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and guess what they're gonna know you're doing success successful because other people are, are gonna, gonna say them. it mm -hmm. even if they block you on everything uh, they'll hear from other people baby yeah oh yeah trust and believe so guys there's probably lots of ways of how to get over a guy and a girl whatever but that was just some of the many many ways and maybe we'll do this episode later on and we think of more stuff yeah we'll probably think of more stuff honestly. yeah <laughs> but that was episode four it got kind of deep sorry no good i think they'll like it yeah i hope you guys like give us feedback on what you guys think about this episode go watch this on youtube give us thumbs up and five stars and also rate us on spotify and apple Podcasts. also comment on top of apple Podcasts so you guys can comment as well guys yeah but thank you so much for tuning in we're happy to be back we love you guys okay, stay tuned so for episode five, five coming out next week bye, bye.